Okay, now we're going to look at a problem that happens on these earlier version 790s. I don't know if it's Cal Fire version only or what, but um, what happens is since we narrow banded, sometimes it won't receive. And like you'll get the little busy light will come on, but you won't hear any audio. And it kind of flashes like that. You can take it out of scan and maybe hit the monitor and then maybe hear. Um, stuff but your receive is intermittent and people next to you can hear fine as day clear as day and you can't hear nothing so this uh, little trick um, has the potential to brick your radio so if you hit the wrong buttons um, you're probably going to screw it up to where it won't work at all uh, my advice is you take it to your uh, radio tech and if they don't know this mod maybe point them to it okay so the way we're going to do this is the first button which is PF1 we have PF1 2 3 4 and 5 PF1 radio off push button turn on radio and I wait till the radio comes on and it comes on in a test mode then I hit the group up button once then it shows frequency and it's going to be something close to 124 then I click the channel button one click and an N shows up in the display above, above the F. And I'm blowing a little bit of squelch. Um, that, that's the problem. What we're going to do is we're going to adjust our squelch window, the lower and upper. We're going to move that up. And that'll make it so you're not blowing squelch all the time. And you don't have to run your squelch all the way high. So we're in frequency we have the n i hit pf1 twice one two and it shows tight squelch okay you can advance and and go down or advance through these menus with the first buttons pf1 and two this last button is the one where you're going to screw something up that writes whatever data you enter so what we're going to do is run the tight squelch up to 220 and I've done about a hundred of these radios and done it on service monitors and this is about it's where I set them and it works good so remember this these two go up and down these ones are going to change the values up and down three and four so I'm gonna hit PF4 until I get up to 221 and now I went one too high so now I'm gonna go back down one to 220 with PF3 now I'm going to write the data. Boom, I wrote it. So now that value has been changed. Now this is the one that kills the radios. If, if your open squelch on narrow is at somewhere around 142, 143, you've got the problem. So what we're going to do, we're going to advance it up with the PF4 to 165. I'm going to go one too far and then I'm going to go back down one just so you can see. Now, I haven't ruined anything. If I, if I made a mistake, I could turn the radio off and on and not write the data. Open squelch 165, I just wrote it. You wanna stay away from these other menus. Don't advance with that because you're writing data. There's a lot of things you can screw up. Your receive sensitivity can go to hell if you accidentally wrote it. You have all the settings um, soft pots in the radio. Don't mess with anything else. If you accidentally hit something, the wrong thing, or you don't have the N in the display, just turn the radio off and start over. Boom. Turn it off. Turn it on. Group up. One click, and an N should show up. And let me zoom in on that N. And once again, the settings, we go PF1 twice, click, click, tight squelch, 220, and I'm going to advance up, open squelch, 165. Don't change any other values, and this will improve your squelch window, make the radio work uh, properly. Once you do that, you can set your squelch down to a low level. Now watch this, I could go down to 
zero before, well, I'll take it off hook, or I'll hit the monitor. Let's see, I'll go off hook. So squelch at zero gives me noise and the busy light comes on. I go up one click and the squelch goes away. Now there's one other thing that you hose heads need to be aware of and that is these little chargers that you have for your cell phones and all your little toys. Those things create potential to create tons of interference on VHF frequencies. I see these new little uh, dual USB chargers and I've seen them wipe out uh, receive completely. Um, AC inverters, some of these guys they, they get real smart and they got printers and inverters and all this stuff then they complain that the radio doesn't receive well start turning that stuff off because that is what uh, a lot of times your problem is. Good luck, be safe.